Alien hand syndrome, often abbreviated as AHS, is a rare neurological disorder characterized by involuntary, uncontrollable movements of one hand. It's like the hand seems to act with a mind of its own. The individual might feel that their hand is foreign or alien to them, and may even attribute the actions of the hand to an external force or entity. Here's an overview of the syndrome. Causes. Alien hand syndrome can result from various types of brain damage or diseases that affect the brain. The primary causes include, first, brain surgery. This is often associated with surgical procedures involving the corpus callosum, which connects the two hemispheres of the brain. It's particularly seen in surgeries for treating epilepsy. Second, stroke strokes affecting the parietal lobe, frontal lobe, or corpus callosum can lead to AHS. Third, brain tumors. Tumors in areas that disrupt the communication between brain regions can cause symptoms of AHS. Fourth, neurodegenerative diseases. Conditions like Alzheimer's disease or Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease can lead to AHS. Finally, infections, brain infections that cause damage to specific areas of the brain. Symptoms. The main symptom of AHS is the involuntary movement of one hand, but it can also include involuntary movements. The affected hand may perform actions that the person did not intend, such as grabbing objects, touching the face, or interfering with the actions of the other hand. Loss of control. The individual may feel they have no control over the hand, which can act independently of their conscious control. Sense of estrangement. The affected hand may feel alien or foreign to the person, leading to a disconnect between the mind and the hand. Self-opposition. The alien hand may act in opposition to the will of the individual, such as unbuttoning a shirt that the other hand is trying to button. Diagnosis of alien hand syndrome involves several important steps. First, a thorough neurological examination is conducted to assess motor and sensory function. Next, brain imaging techniques such as MRI or CT scans are used to identify any brain lesions, tumors, or areas of damage that might explain the symptoms. And finally, reviewing the patient's medical history is crucial including any surgeries, strokes, or other neurological conditions they may have experienced. Treatment for alien hand syndrome focuses on managing symptoms and improving the patient's quality of life, as there is no specific cure. Behavioral strategies are often employed, teaching the patient how to manage the involuntary movements, perhaps by holding the alien hand with the unaffected hand. Occupational therapy can be very helpful aiding the patient in adapting to daily life and regaining as much function as possible. In some cases, medications like muscle relaxants or botulinum toxin injections might be used to control the movements. Cognitive therapies can also be beneficial, offering techniques to help the patient gain some control over the alien hand or to integrate its actions into their overall behavior. There are some fascinating case studies and notable examples of alien hand syndrome. Historically, the syndrome was first identified in the 1900s in patients who had undergone brain surgeries. In pop culture, alien hand syndrome has been depicted in movies and TV shows, often dramatized as a hand with a will of its own. Alien hand syndrome is a fascinating and complex neurological disorder that illustrates the intricate workings of the brain and its control over our limbs. While it poses significant challenges for those affected, ongoing research and therapeutic strategies continue to improve the management of this rare condition.